Okay, so Harris, how's it going, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, bro. Nice, hot, sunny Friday afternoon on my end. I know you wake up, wake up very, very early. Like, very early. It's, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 a.m. Standard for you. Yeah. Uh, really looking forward to this interview. You've grown a lot since this past two months. Um, it's only been two months as well. Like, that's, that's the scary thing about it, right? Yeah. Even, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So, yeah, why don't we just let's kick this off and why don't you tell the viewer, give a quick little introduction who you are, and you can even go into some backstory about where you were before, before we started okay. working. Uh, I'm an immigrant from India, like from a really small city, and I moved to Vancouver, Canada as an like, international student about four and a half years ago and it was a totally different thing like totally different life here because there i had like everything and mom my family everything here i had to do everything on my own so uh, after like finishing my education i was looking i was i tried a lot of things and how i got into this business i started with affiliate marketing I saw like you can do things online and make go to high ticket things and do things online. The main my main goal was to live at, at anywhere that I want, like live with my family, live in Canada, wherever I want. Canada is good, gives you money, but you can't give you the freedom of jobs and everything. So that's why I got started here in this. And I started with the high ticket program with the with the coaching to get uh, started with high ticket affiliate marketing and starting building my business and what happened was how i get to you was uh i you know when you're in the beginning like you're not the person that you want to be like in person so you know i went to that yeah. part of the youtube channel a lot of things were happening oh, and yeah. something happened in between i had to take a break for a month things were happening a little bit sales here a little sales here, not that big like mm -hmm. not in, that yeah, of what yeah. I wanted, but I had to take a break because of some my permanent resident issue. And okay. when I came back, I noticed uh, I'm just I had everything that I wanted, like you know the good offer. My offer was really good, hundred uh, percent. How my marketing was really good because I'm getting attracting people, like making big like my community is growing, my YouTube channel is growing. But the biggest problem was how to book calls fast, as fast as possible and so so I, I used to see you a lot for a long time but that time mm -hmm. i didn't have the problem right so i used to mm -hmm. see like this cool guy sharing things he, like he's doing big things in life that's great but i didn't have the problem that time and when i had the problem i thought like who can fix it like this this is a little thing i know but who would be the best person and go to my booking calls <laughs> so i didn't even think and i just booked a call with you and yeah. now we are here <laughs> so the rest is history yeah man yeah. um so what do you mean exactly like booking calls as fast as possible because there's probably people out there there's one because it's one thing to know how to book calls but what do you mean exactly because you were quite a specific situation you know most people just don't know how to book calls but with you personally you said something about like, trying to do it as fast as possible like the thing the thing was like i have i have my own community i'm the leader of the community so i can still like talk to people i have like now right now there are 230 people are 20 even if 10 percent people convert in a year it's a big number like if you do high ticket but exactly to getting to a point as soon as because i need the money now to now too as well to get the results right and the mm -hmm. more people i start helping and more people can get the results because i, because I know my offer works the the biggest thing was i was doing the conversations but i don't know like how to set the like the meeting as soon as possible because the meeting is the starting point the conversation anybody can go do the conversation yeah. like anybody can you can give a rookie that the thing like do you have to start a conversation yes. they can do that yeah. but how to uh how to be a leader in the get the leverage in the conversation how to uh really 
make them need that oh i should talk to this person that he has something that help can help me out and mm -hmm. and people coming to you like when you when they start talking to you you start as soon as all as soon as started talking they book a call and yeah. then now uh i just last uh last client that goes by 3.2k uh dollars my biggest clients have at client ever and i was making sale with my like the affiliate business because i work with high ticket high ticket affiliates and coaches so i was making affiliate sales but i'm like now i'm going to the coaching side as well on a bigger scale so that's that is the thing awesome um yeah and talk about talk a little bit more about how things are now so you got because you had the chess pieces you, you were just it was just that last five percent that you needed and then yes um i, mean, I guess it's safe to say we got that last five percent so how are things now so, just like not just you not just the business itself but maybe talk about life in general maybe things outside of business how it's affected you personally it's it's big man like now i feel like like i can book call on the fly i feel like that the more calls i can book the more money can i feel more abundant i think because i i have a lot of people in conversation now and the more people in the conversation the more people will convert and the, i don't i don't feel needy anymore like i am the alpha state now so that raises the confidence in everything you're making sales like and imagine you are like you say this all the time like i want to share like putting if you have one call a day you're going to put that on a potential oh if this i can't close and i'm going to lose a sale i'm not going to make money if you have three calls a day and you don't even feel needy anymore because exactly. you if you have three calls you're gonna help one of them at least yes. and if you have three a day for a week like 21 calls 60 something like in a month <laughs> 84 in a month <laughs> it's a lot of calls and the more calls you go to the more the more people you can understand the, you you can understand on the conversation as well the more calls you can book you can really understand the pain and i feel like exactly. now understand the pain better and the marketing gets better too yeah that's the thing man when like and i had someone i was on a call with one of my coaches and it's a different one this time but um he was he's very pivotal for me with appointment setting because he helped a lot and one of the things we talked about to you yesterday was um like if you're excited to sell them because sales is i'm going to be honest like completely transparent here is something i still need to work on and he said like yesterday um if you're not excited to sell then you're probably not booking as many calls either because if you were excited to sell um then you probably book at twice as many calls if you wanted if i really wanted to go out there and book 10 to 15 calls right now i could um but it's just it links back to kind of what you said how booking more calls it it's not just like booking more calls it affects everything affects everything the marketing the business you know their pain points um obviously you're getting more sales opportunities and that leads to more clients solving and more get problems better. for people exactly man. 100 yes yes yeah like that um, makes that makes sense man like if if you want to if you want to really go and you can just get down in the like for straight eight hours you can we can book 15 calls right exactly that that makes a big difference true 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 yeah um and when people let's say they're kind of new to the game or they're not very good at, at setting appointments 15 a day sounds like a lot but if you really think about it if if you just break down the maths here if you're um or 15 a week like some people that's a lot but if you break down the maths let's say you're working six days a week um 15 you can't divide 15 by by two but, but divide 15 by six but what is that it's like two or three a day Two or three a day in that Roughly. range, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that makes it more digestible, right? Two or three a day, so yeah. you're having a lot of engagement. You're, especially you as well, you got the advantage because you had the Facebook group, right? Yeah, that was, that was a big advantage because uh, like when we, when we even on the, in the first week, I started booking the calls. And with that advantage, plus with the things you like to share, like even the little, little things like how to turn the conversation into 
you're not selling anything at all when you're selling the meeting. And even yes. the first call we did made a big difference. And we, we started on like bigger things, but even the first call make a big difference. Really? <laughs> no way. Um, that's funny you say that because I actually don't, I don't really, I wouldn't say I don't remember what I did in the first call, but the fact that the first call was valuable already, that's crazy to me. Did that that help a lot, man? Because we we without wasting any time on anything, we just jump into like book like fixing the main problem. What was it? Like uh, booking the call basically. And I already have the conversation going on. But when we when I went the things you like to explain me or when the things you I learned from you, then it it was just it started happening automatically. And then and then I don't have to like now. <clears throat> I feel like I had to like think anymore. I know I know what to do. This is what's gonna happen. Like the conversation flow in my way. Yes. I'm the one controlling the conversation, so I know where it's gonna go. And that yes. that was big as but as <clears throat> you know, once we remember you did that we did the you started looking at the conversations. Yes. That, that I think that's a game changer. That is a game changer too, right? Because if someone can, if someone who is, you are doing that, you're booking a lot of calls, right? I know I'm like, I was not even aware, like, this is a mistake I'm making. When we, when we did that, we went through the calls and that, that was big love, this mistake, this little mistake, this little mistake. Yes. And you, and you get, once you, when you see the mistake, you can't unlearn it. So you start getting the way yeah. of it. Exactly. You've got to have someone like another set of eyes. Yes. Yeah. What was um? What were your conversations like before? Like talking to them about you know their pets, their family, and not kind of you know we are here to solve problems. The more yes. time we we talk about family and all that, a lot of people do that. I used to do that as well. It's it's, it's report building. I understand. But the more time we do that, you you basically get into the friend zone, I think. You know, when you mm, when yeah. you just be being a friend with the girl and you're yeah. really afraid to ask her out. You, should make a move, you know yeah. what's what happens, right? So you get to the friend zone. <laughs> so things like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's literally <laughs> the same thing. Um yeah, dude, you were you were talking about family a lot and friends and I want to make it clear like there's nothing wrong with rapport building uh that definitely i think you, you pretty much have to build rapport or else they're not going to be proposed you yes 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 you. but but there is a limit say you were exactly would you say you were taking it a bit too spending a bit too much time on that or taking it a bit too far not being direct a bit too far like i was not understanding where to switch the conversation because imagine if you're afraid like you're talking about family pets and from that you straight up go uh what problems you're having yeah and <laughs> like what you're gonna do yeah. right <laughs> no and they're I'm like oh they weird out they weird out and oh like okay like this guy was talking to a family and stuff now they have to the business like what should i do and then not just not sending the right signals i think from the beginning yeah true that that is a big one yeah man um it's like I don't know, have you read uh, Jordan Belfort's The Way of the Wolf? No. No? There's, no. The, the, he does something called straight line selling, where let's say this is A and this is B, and you want to keep the sale on the straight line, where you don't go up here talking about pets, family, etc. Like pretend this is a sales call for a sales call. You don't go up here trying to talk about family, the weather, etc. You don't go down here. Um, talking about other stuff, you want to keep it at a straight line, like get closer and closer to be making it in the sale. You can, um, I don't know if you've been, you've been bowling before, right? And they have the, what is it, the guardrails? Yeah, yeah, Sometimes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, keep it yes, within yes, the yes. guardrails. Like maybe go a little bit, you can build a bit of support, but don't let it go too far, just keep it in a straight line, kind of like the bowling field. So actually the same thing goes with the opponent side, you know? Yeah, so, uh, uh, now I understand these little things like what we are doing, mm. but the big game changer, man. Once you once you learn this kind of thing, 
and and one thing just hit my mind subconsciously when you when you are in your business right even you have we have profiles on facebook instagram and they see subconsciously they know so it's just basically like the fear of that thing to mm-hmm. you know just ask the girl out things like that just That's the fear it's just a fear if they really feel that this guy can help you out it's not a big deal that if you really believe that you can help them out in a like a really polite way it's surely fine with the conversation i think yeah um you'd almost be doing them a disservice to like if you can generally help them out some of this work you can generally help them out and get part of but if you are just too scared or don't want to extend the invite then you're almost being selfish in a way cuz they need help um but if you're not offering the help then it's kind of selfish or service you're going to be stuck with the art 100% you like that's the biggest thing like s- somebody imagine like uh we we started talking to and i have this problem and you're not going to the call uh, to to help me uh, like you are not helping me to book a call you're doing the disservice you did a bigger disservice because now i i, I got your coaching right mm-hmm. and i'm now making i i i'll get on my investment out as soon as possible like the investment you it was like little that i'm making now it's a lot i'm making now so i can make even then like 10000 a month now and so it's it's not even a, i don't even feel like anything and yep. the one more thing i want to share on that was a little thing but i uh, i never had the one on one experience i had coaching oh, yeah. and yes i never had that Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. but this, but one on one, I think is just crazy. You could really, really get into the deep stuff and to really fix the problem, like as soon as possible. You don't have to wait in the line. Oh, this yeah. coach gonna speak, and you feel yeah. like a friend. You can really yeah. share things. You're not in like fifty people on the Zoom call, and like a lot of people do that too, which is on way, but. I love this style. Me too. Me too. Big advocate for it. Um just like cuz there's again it's just really it's really personal. It's tailor made. So what you what you're able to tell me in a one-on-one setting you might not be able to tell me as much in a maybe a group setting especially if there's like 40 other 50 people who need to ask like questions answered at the same time, you know. I think that's why yeah. we made so much progress. Okay, yes yes that that is big man that is super like the big mm-hmm. component of it of making sales and how i made sales because even if i had like a problem i know i'm going to jump on a call get into the problem until that is fixed matt's mm-hmm. not going to say oh the call is over and i'm going to stuck for a week right so yeah, exactly. that is big i've seen a lot of calls like people doing a zoom call then they they share their screen like they can we can see their face but they uh, they can just listen their voice and everybody can just listen the voice it's good but it, there's no yeah. like human human element to it so i just feel like that yeah 100% um how many tell the viewer like give them an idea cuz i think some people want to hear numbers so how many calls would you say you were booking a day before you started working together and then how many you started booking like a day now or a week as i mentioned and uh, when i come when i came back like with the you know was mm. nothing going on yep like it was really in the rut like nothing's happening like i'm trying to build up nothing happening but after starting working with you like now uh is basically at least one call a day at least up to three calls a day so mm. i had So, and and one big thing is happening to I might have not to share with you like i'm booking the calls like right now so if i'm talking to someone on on send no 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 so what i what i mean by this is i'm oh, talking okay. to messenger someone on messenger and they uh, i just started talking like you know book a call and, and they book a call right away like they were talking we get they already hot they want they are trying to fix the problem if you book the call right now try to fix a problem right now i i'm doing that on the moment like getting the messenger book the call yes. book the call is done sale is done 
So it's, it's super fast. You have to wait for, like I've already got booked in, but if that is happening too, the more that can happen as well, because I'm at the moment, I'm in, I'm understanding the way they are. I don't have to go back and see in the messenger. And that is big too. Sorry. And with the, with the, I think with the revenue man is, um, for this month is like 11th of August, 12th of August. And I'm already at like, calculate just a second. <laughs> I'm already at 6,000. So 6K. 6K. And I, I would literally like, I'm 100% around to cross the 10K mark. Like that was the biggest goal. Like yes. within, within two months, I think. Like it's still got 20 days. I have calls lined up, lined up already. And mm. you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh bro, it's that's the thing as well. Like it's it's gonna happen because it's a number at the end of the day, it's a, there's numbers game behind it, whether people want to ignore it or not. There is number a certain element of numbers game behind it. And this I think that's also you really learned about it when I gave you the tracking sheet and you really started to track your numbers because before you weren't doing that as well, right? You weren't tracking your numbers, but kind of guessing. Tracking that. sheet is gold, man. Tracking sheet is gold. Like that little piece because you, our brain can process certain things. Like, you know, I'm seeing the marketing side. Like we are one, one person business. And until we are big, at least you have the employees and all that. You have to yes. put in your head. How much you're going to put in on the marketing side? We do YouTube and uh, mm -hmm. conversations, meetings, a lot of things goes on. But you have, a, right. imagine you open your laptop and you know what's going on today, who I need to talk to, who's a hot warm lead, who's a hot lead, who in that stage, like what they need to do exactly. So right. that 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 was big. Yep. Yeah. I use it data. daily. I use it daily, update it daily. Like, even if I don't do anything because that's what gonna bring the real money in the business marketing like a lot of people seeing it for sure but that's what's gonna bring the real money like who to really focus on today right now and get to the point yeah 100 um big big asset big big asset um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something about oh it left my mind but um so 6k start of all this hasn't even been halfway yet yeah. um what, what's next for you so you said 10k and then what why does it even matter in the first place like what sort of things could you see yourself being able to do now compared to let's say two months ago a lot of things <laughs> big things man like as i mentioned like uh i want to do things like i haven't like i i get to see my parents like i want i saw my parents after three years I haven't seen my parents again for one and a half years again now. I don't want to do that. Like not like people don't even recognize me in my city anymore. Like who is this guy? Oh, yeah. And I don't want to do that. So my like I want to see my parents. Like I want to call my parents here too. And with with this guy, I can be anywhere. And with that, I will get the freedom to do the things I want. Like going back to India, I can do my business from there. In Canada, I want to travel. I can do from anywhere I want. And the, the bigger I go, the faster. Like 10K is the one thing, but I'm going to move like 20K. I can do more, travel more, and do things for my parents too. Like I want to call my parents. Like that is a big, big expense too. And and not just like breaking here, like travel, uh, traveling with them as well. So oh, yeah. that is big one too, right? And like in, in Canada, like everything is so expensive <laughs> right now. Inflation is crazy high. But you don't who like I don't want to wait to if I, if things are in my hand, I can I can generate the money, I, I can do the things like I'm helping people. Yep. So that's that's a that's a goal. In Paris, uh last August 2021, imagine you do the same. <laughs> yeah, no, I did uh, last year. I just started, man. Like, uh, yeah. I started in August, 
like I, I was I started on 20th of July or 10 days I was watching yeah. like what is what the things are and on August I started implementing but I have seen people like mm-hmm. doing entrepreneurship for a long time and yes. things not working out but I didn't thought like one year and these things are possible with uh, with this with online business and doing things that you want yeah we were talking about this yesterday how it's only been that's the thing it's only been one year and just imagine um like next year two years five years time um it also compounds as well so it's not a straight line the progress you're making at this space isn't going to be the same the year after because it's just going to compound it's going to go like this and it's going to go just up very very steep 100 percent. like I can, I can feel that now because i was i was doing uh like with i help affiliates and coaches to help to go through a ten ten thousand dollar mark so and i had that program for that like i used to sell that program but now as my results are got, like implementing my clients are getting results i like this is a big thing like you mentioned it's gonna compound now that i'm making a bigger like high ticket sales with my coaching the coaching side of things as well it's gonna go up because as though that person is getting the results it's gonna compound 100 percent. and yes. with that thank you so much with that to helping with the coaching coaching client as well because he uh, he's in like a relationship niche yep. and it's bit new for me as well but I th- with your support is is going really well too it's going really well he's he's just implementing doing the work yeah appreciate it man that's exactly that's another thing we did as well was we helped you out on the coaching side and how to actually package your offer because there's a lot of people who you know what their offer is, you know the very basic surface level stuff, but when it comes to getting the client the result, they have absolutely zero clue, like a deer in headlights. And I'm glad I like stepped in and helped helped you out on that. Like you devoted an entire hour on one of our coaching calls. Um, that was super that. helpful, man. If if the, if you weren't there, I would be super confused. Like things happen for a reason, I think. Like I I, I met you, uh started making money online met those met people uh then you're helping with that side of things to coaching like, like and and this is gonna go for a long time and we have i can see that i'm gonna go yeah. pick <laughs> it's only up from here yes what would you um i've got a question so let's let's say someone is in a similar position as you paris two months ago or just Let's say they were also coming back from a big break. They were in a rut. They just weren't making progress. Um, maybe even struggled to book calls. Basically, who you were, like, when we speak to yourself two, like two months ago, two and a half months ago, right? What would you say to, to him? I would say, man, just, just the booking calls part of it, man, like, Matt coaching is amazing. I haven't seen anyone doing it in that way. It was one on one, and it's really like deep and going in detail. What what really need to happen and everything in the week. But if you have the like marketing side of things, like and biggest thing is like booking the booking the calls and getting into the meetings. Yep. It's like there is no one. I don't have a single doubt that this this guy can help you out because. If I want to take in help from him, I'm pretty sure I still be figuring out in my own. And I already, I already make like in total, I have crossed like, like last month, this month, like totally or, or total close like ten thousand dollar a month, ten thousand dollar. And it's nothing. Like now, now I have that knowledge, I can just implement it. And you are with me as well. And exactly. And I would. Uh, and the price you charge me, I would like. We, I was thinking about this. It was basically like nothing in comparative to the result I want. Because if you tell me give these things away for this much price, like what I have now, what, like, what mm-hmm. I'm gonna achieve, I wouldn't even give like a million dollars to be with my family, right? So exactly. That just that like answers that question, I think. No, it does. Dude, yeah, they, they just be most people that you see the price like their draw drops. But if you think about it, what you're paying a price either way, and you're right. Um, 
what we talked about, I think, on another coaching call in the past about, about pricing, how to actually price a program, how to help the client price their yes, program. Yes, yes. I just gave the simple analogy where I think this, so this wedding, someone, there's a couple, he had a wedding, hired a wedding photographer, took amazing pictures. 50 years later, the couple gets a knock on the door and then the wedding is actually the wedding photographer. And he said to the couple, how much, how much would you give for me to take the photos back? And most likely the answer, if you're, you have some common sense, be never, right? Or extremely, <laughs> extremely, extremely high price. Extremely high. If you have a common, <laughs> if, if that worst case scenario, right? So it's it's like the price you're paying for not getting the outcome that you want. That's the price you're paying by not taking action. You can stay, you can stay in the rut like for, for as long as you want, but the sooner, the, the, this Alex Hermosi says this a long time for a, like I really believe in this. Yep. You gotta you have to pay the price anyhow. You pay the price in time or in the money. Yeah, you can, exactly. You can't make money again, but you can't get the time again. Nope. <laughs> Once you I'm 24 Nada. right now. I don't wanna wait. Like I, I still waited like four years for having this life. I don't wanna wait a single day. So yeah, bro. that's the thing. <laughs> You'll never get to be 20, 24 again, 23, 18. Never get that ever again. Never get that ever again. Like, I want to live the life I want. I don't care. Like, how... Like, I can I can, I can, can still reach it. I can do YouTube and all that. But it's... it's I, I think it's, it never works. You can get all the information you want. But to, to get what you really, really want... You want some someone with you who have have done it again and again and again, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You kind of ended off any better, man. I mean, is there? That's a big lesson. I think that's a big key takeaway from here. It's just like you're gonna pay the price either way. You're gonna pay the price either way. Not not just either way. Not just matter. You can you can wait all along. Like you can wait one year, but your one year is gone. It's now they're gonna come back. Yeah. It's exactly. not gonna come back. <laughs> especially, and it hurts even more, especially if you wasted that that time that you were given. Like time is a privilege, and if you just spend it like doing stupid stuff or just wrongfully, then it hurts even more. It just stings even, even more. And and one thing I I have seen that man, a lot of coaches say focus on building relationship. You can you still need to wait. Call, sales will come. Sales will come. But. Yes. But until you're booking calls, I think nothing's gonna happen. You still need to book calls. Even if, even if you're on your first day, like well, first day you have to do a lot of things. First month, you are not booking calls. There is still, There's still something going wrong. Something going wrong. Yeah, something is that month. someone is giving the wrong information. Yes. I dude, if I could teach a monkey at this, I, I'm not confident, like I can teach a monkey. Within his first month of business, he'll book a call or <laughs> book three calls in a week at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, dude. And there's a lot of people who haven't hit that benchmark. So, yeah, nothing wrong with that. But it's just, you know, I'm just hitting up, you know, it could be doing a lot better. First yeah, month. I was doing, yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, I mentioned, like, basically my story. The coaching style, coach is telling me, uh, focus on building relationship. How long to build the relationship? Getting the friend zone for the, that relationship? I don't want exactly. that. They don't, they don't tell you this stuff, man. <laughs> and, and now, tell me now why how it's happening now. Like, they're same people, same business. Why they're converting fast? Mm. If you know you know you have the right information, that's the answer. Yeah, exactly. That links back. And it, again, it links back to what you came here for in the first place, which was speed of booking calls, trying to get them in as fast as possible. It, I'm going to give it credit, like, I think it was a blessing in disguise that you had so many relationships built. Um, obviously, it could have been a lot quicker, but the fact we're nurturing these relationships, like going into us starting working, I think that's what made it. That's another thing that made it, you know, super quick to get results because you already had these people, especially that client, your coaching client. You've known him for how long, and then now recently you just pulled the trigger, and now you kick things off on the right foot. Yes, yes, that that was. <laughs> The, those things help too because like everyone just came from my group basically so yes. I think group is essential 
but uh, yeah, but definitely part is important. But I think that's just the boundaries. I think what to how to keep the bond is not going into what your yeah. children eat today. <laughs> just things like that. Yeah. Awesome. Um. Yeah. Other than that, man, what's um? Do you have any closing statements or? Where do you want to see yourself in the next, say, three to six months? Everything. Three to six months, uh, we jump on a call again. I'm sitting in India with my family, mm. 20K a month. And that would be, I would doubt, that's going to happen for sure. That's going to happen for sure. I can't go to, like, it's going to happen in January because I, I can't, I will not go to India and yeah. seven months because it's, it's bonds like 50 degrees yes. in the winters. So we will do our interview again, 20K uh, in the like next six months. 100% with the family. Um, <laughs> and yeah, getting to see them again after all these years. That's exactly what I want to make sure that happens, man. I want to make sure that happens. And I'll do anything to make sure it does. But Thank you so much, man. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Great guy. Um, any closing statements at anywhere they can find you on online? Just uh, Matt can put a link in the description for my Facebook group. I yes. can usually like share a lot of like, uh, my learnings there. I have a lot of trainings. They've done training about how you can implement, how you can build your high ticket affiliate and coaching business at least 10k a month from mm. simple Facebook and building those assets as well on the side, not just making a sale and done. So if you want to build asset that goes for a long, long time and not just build a business, I, like, yeah. so you don't have to something like, long do term. the things again, something long term, you want to build yes. something long term and it's consistent, like 10K at least coming in. Yep. Uh, join a Facebook group. It's like Paris Insider uh, for affiliates and coaches, uh, 10K a month organically. So awesome. uh, Matt can put the link in the description if you can. And yep. that's good. We'll do. For sure, dude. Great interview. Great call. And uh, looking forward to everything coming up. Yeah. Man. For sure, dude. Thank you so much for the interview. Right. For sure. Take it easy. Yeah. Bye-bye.